and um, didishi committed suicide to three days before so see we see one side of we may have seen one side of the teacher isn't it not necessary that we know everything about the person not necessary that we know everything that is going on in their imagination right we may be seeing only some part of it so our fears may be linked to many things our fear may be linked to an assumption that you know even though somebody is so nice and even though somebody is so efficient and all of that even they could have this kind of um reaction and even they could think that nothing is worthy of living further and they something like this could happen to them then that fear may be there somewhere deep down that maybe something like that could happen to me one day i'm just saying there could be many assumptions yeah, did, 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 yeah. within yeah. us isn't it that we have not faced that we are not come face to face with somewhere deep down something may be bothering us but we have yeah, not when i saw her time. when i was observing you know i could see that she is same like me yeah many so that's why that, uh, so that's the thing yes so somewhere deep down that fear may be there that if this can happen to her this can happen to me also so again that fear gets activated and with that fear we have all of these expressions that i find that i am not able to sleep by myself that just means there are lots of conflicting thoughts in my imagination there is the fear of the unknown the fear of what may happen later and particularly after an incident where there has been a loss in the family i may be more vulnerable i may be more susceptible to this because i may not have gotten over this loss in the family fully and now something else happens which is outside the family but somebody well known to me where i never expected this because i did not see that side of that person but we really don't know that person's situation isn't it and research has also shown that any person who is actually committing the suicide very often they may have made attempts earlier also at least the thought has come into them many times before and then eventually they go to committing suicide and not everybody does so for every one person who is committing suicide there may be so many others who are having such thoughts who are having this feeling of being you know helpless not seeing any hope in what is going to come in the future not being able to handle things rightly so ultimately you will be able to see that it is about having the right understanding rightly evaluating oneself rightly evaluating the situations in which we are in being centered being able to be in harmony at peace within and then you can deal with any situation outside i mean either you can try to change the situation or you accept the situation isn't it those are the choices but you don't have to become disturbed by it whenever you are disturbed means your own inner harmony has been destroyed and now that influence from outside seems to become overpowering so that is the situation for everybody so a person may be very efficient in their skills but if they don't have the right understanding they may have been enjoy seemingly enjoying life and you know having fun and all of that seemingly having everything that they would need but within themselves 
they don't have that harmony, that peace, because the feelings, the thoughts, they are not able to observe them and they are, um, you know, that void within, they are trying to fill from the outside. So their dependence on the outside is immense. And if we are at any moment dependent on the outside, now the outside may or may not be in line with what I would like it to be. So until and unless we are able to see that I can have the right feeling regardless of the outside, then my feeling will keep getting, you know, going one way or the other as a, like a, I'll be affected or my feeling will be impacted by the situation outside again and again and again. So in situations like this, when we see, we can see that, you know, probably something was, must have been disturbing for a long time, perhaps. Person may have had many thoughts like that and eventually could not see any hope and therefore went to take that step. But rather than, you know, now that has already happened, that incident is past. We may not be able to do anything for that person. There may be some regret about that also. But rather than to just go on with that feeling of regret, what we can do is the people that are around us now, we can help with them. We can see now that there was a need for understanding that was missing somewhere. So maybe we can help in that process. We are already doing that work, but maybe we can try to um, extend that to more and more people in our institution, try to make it available for all so that something like this does not happen again with another person. And you will find when you're doing this, when you can see your role in this, then you will be more at peace also.